Hello guys, this is Blade Support and today we're talking about our new solar panel PV400. Unbuckle the belts. Place the panels horizontally on the ground with the kickstands downwards. Open and position the panels in an M shape to stabilize them. Be careful when handling. Pull out the kickstand and adjust its angle. Repeat the above steps for the rest and make sure they tilt at the same angle. Unfold the panels and prop the kickstands. PV400 is 106 inches in length, 37 inches in width and 30.9 pounds in weight. Made of monocrystalline silicon cells, it boasts an impressive peak power of 420 watts. PV400 works between minus 10 and 65 degrees Celsius and most efficiently at 25 degrees Celsius. If you want to hang up the panels, there are two mounting rings. Secure the panels on a hard surface. Take out the connection cable from the zipper bag. This is PV input cable. Use these two cables to connect PV400 to the portable power station. P400 is compatible with AC300, AC500 and EP500 Pro. These power stations support two sets of individual solar charging because they feature dual MPPT controllers, namely DC1 and DC2, which can be controlled separately. Select PV as DC input source and make sure the PV parallel is off. You can connect three pieces of PV400 in series to DC1. Connecting solar panels in series can increase the total voltage, power, and charging speed. AC500 takes up to six PV400 solar panels, so you can connect another three pieces of PV400 to D2. For solar charging, light intensity is a key factor affecting the output power of solar panels. The more intense the light is, the higher the power could be. Make sure there is no shadow covering the solar panels. The incident angle is also important. You can make some position adjustment to ensure the angle is 90 degrees for the optimal performance. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.